What was your reaction to the report by Charlie Casserly? Uh, not surprising. I mean, that's just uh, in the fact that that's, it's that time of year, you know, and people are going to say different things. I, I just hate that people go go out, uh, make these comments, and, you know, you've never even talked to the two people that have actually coached this kid. Um, you've never, you haven't talked to teammates. You know, you went on what one team said, which said it's probably a smoke screen, knowing how the, this draft deal works and all the different, you know, back and forth. But this kid's a uh, – Kyler was a tremendous leader for us, uh, a tremendous leader, uh, very aggressive, uh, very important to him. All he cares about is winning. Um, and uh, that really, I think our team took on that personality without a doubt. So he's, he, uh, you know, and as far as process and offense, I mean, he, he just had the, uh, you know, greatest single season uh, in the history of college football. So I think he can process just fine. Last time you spoke to Cliff Kingsbury. Oh, probably a month ago. Do you think he's going to reach out after these comments have come out with the Charlie Casserly, or has he already? Uh, I'm sure we'll have several people reach out. No, I haven't talked to anybody else about him. I mean, I think I know Kyler met with a lot of different teams at the Combine, and I've, I've personally spoken with uh, the majority of the teams that he met with, and every one of them were glowing in their reports about Kyler, basically the complete opposite that Charlie threw out there. So, uh uh, you know, you're not going to make everybody happy if that is true. One team didn't like him, and that's okay. And trust me, there's about 25 others out there that absolutely love him. You know what's amazing is we get caught up in the prototype quarterback in the NFL, that you got to be 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, and I said, you don't have to be because of right. new rules and, you know, blocking schemes, and we're taking more of college into the NFL. And, and, and so people talked about Baker Mayfield at six feet. Like, how could you take him number one? Now we've gone down to 5'10 with Kyler Murray. And I'm saying, can they play football? Not, there are guys who are 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", can't play. But exactly. We get caught up in these prototypes here, Coach. We do, and and what people got to realize is is we're not saying that every five ten or every six footer can go in there and do it. I mean, these are these two guys are rare breeds. I mean, they the, the guys like this just don't come along, you know, every year or every ten years, you know, and and they're they're both got unique skill sets. They both play the position just uniquely well, regardless of how tall they are. They're both both damn good. And, 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 you know, in Kyler's case, you're talking about a skill set that, you know, that college football had never seen and that the NFL has never seen. I mean, you're talking about a rare, rare skill set that, you know, that just gets it done and creates so many problems defensively. I mean, those, those defense coordinators are getting ready to see there. I mean, you, you play a guy like this, it's a, it's a different world. And, uh, not that he's not going to have some, some growing and continuing to improve as a player. They, everybody has that coming into that league. But, I mean, this is, a, this is a different animal here. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.